Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and this time it is one with some sad news. Remember when we were all getting excited about Tesla FSD finally being able to come to Europe by the end of the year or early next year? Well, that dream is pretty much crushed now. In the past few weeks on and off Twitter I had an interesting back and forth with Rohan Patel about the timeline for bringing FSD beta to Europe. While we were all hoping for the version 12 to come our way, but with just a few UN ECE flags in the code, Mr. Patel made it pretty clear that that is not going to happen. Let me walk you through the conversation. But before that, I need to mention that Rohan Patel works at Tesla and according to his Twitter bio and LinkedIn profile, he is the Vice President of Public Policy and Business Development. That is definitely in the ranks of people that know what they are talking about when it comes to this subject. Now, in his first reaction on the timeline, he said, the updated DCAS regulations are encouraging, but don't address the key issue, system initiated maneuvers, in order to enable the safety benefits of FSD supervised, even for older versions. The UNECE is currently working on those system initiated maneuver regulation extensions, but currently every single maneuver needs to be driver confirmed. So the system can show the intention of the maneuver, but the driver needs to confirm that before it can be executed by the system. If you want to know more about the exact DCAS regulations, please watch the video linked up here or down below in the description. It will explain everything the car would do and would not be allowed to do. Now what I've been saying for quite some time and still seems hard for some to grasp is that these regulations stipulate what you need to do, not how you need to do it. So for Tesla, they could switch to not holding the steering wheel, but confirming by looking into the side view mirror, for example. However, this still contradicts with the rest of the regulations that actually mandate a hands-on approach. So there are two more iterations that we need to get through with DCAS regulations. The first one is the system's initiated maneuvers. And the second one is the hands-off eyes-on regulations, allowing us to confirm the maneuvers by looking. The latter one could already solve a few issues with the current regulations, but I fear that we will have to wait until the system initiated maneuvers are going to be allowed. Back to the tweets from Mr. Rowan Patel. What he made clear in the first tweet was that supervised FSD, as seen in the US, could not come to the rest of the world the way it is now. We need those system initiate maneuvers to be legal. In another response, he mentioned that we will see a better FSD system towards the end of the year as a result of some recent changes. And we could make some small improvements to the older versions of FSD based on the updated DCAS regulations at the end of the year. Notice that in true Tesla fashion, he didn't say which year though. But all kidding aside, that does give us a bit of hope that they would be working on increasing the current capabilities after all. But it would be in version 11 max and not in V12. I believe this is mainly because V12 is supposed to be a full AI system and with all the regulations there are many hard-coded conditions that would need to be implemented. That seems like a pretty big if not impossible task on a full AI system. But still, we would all be extremely happy with our version of V11 outside of North America. But Mr. Patel is also right. Just imagine going on a roundabout and needing to take an exit. How would you hold the steering wheel so that the car does the driving, but your hands are detected to be present without disengaging the system? Not holding it for a few seconds gets you a warning and holding it while it suddenly turns quickly will disengage the system. Seems like a big hassle and nigh on impossible to get working properly. I might be taking a leap here, but his reaction for me means that Tesla has no interest in bringing FSD to Europe or anywhere else outside of North America anytime before the system initiated maneuvers are approved. And that could take another year perhaps. They just don't know how to implement the current DCAS regulations into their system and have no intention of littering V12 software with UN ECE flags on every feature. So I guess all of us will have to wait yet another year until the system initiated maneuvers are allowed. 
that will then mark the 10th year since Elon has promised to bring us full self-driving cars and since many of us bought the option. And to be fair to anyone buying at that time, the regulations were not part of that equation yet, since they only came to cripple the system in June 2019. Some other tiny bit of news here is that apparently rolling out early access is prohibited in many European countries, with only a few exceptions. Not sure if Belgium is one of the exceptions, but knowing that our Minister of Transport, Georges Hilkinet, doesn't even want L3 autonomous cars in the country, and everyone should take the train instead, I fear that we will be lost in class to join the future. Luckily, in June we have national elections and hopefully someone else will become the Minister of Transport, someone with actually some common sense and someone who actually knows about the technology, who sees the safety benefits of those systems instead of holding back all progress out of fear of a semi-autonomous car having one single accident. I will keep following up on the regulations and I will report on any changes that might impact the possible FSD coming outside of North America. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any updates. And for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.